Welcome back everyone, it's Blaze2K and today we're looking at the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Complete Edition for the Nintendo Switch and we're going to see how it runs in handheld mode. If you want to see more Switch through, if you want to see more Witcher 3 Switch content, then check out the channel. I've did about five streams the past two days. Um, but one of my most popular questions is how does it run in handheld mode? So we're going to take a look at that right now. Um, so this is you're going to get a good idea of how long it takes to get the game started. Um, it doesn't take long at all. But you can join me here and see how long it takes. So let's just wait till this finishes. It doesn't take long at all to get into the game. It really doesn't. Saber Interactive. I believe, I could be wrong, but I think it's Saber Interactive that ported this over to the Switch. So kudos to them. Um, here we go, here's the main menu. Any button to continue. We'll skip that. Skip. And let's jump into the game. See how long Heroes it takes. and Yennefer were reunited. But something even more important happened in Mizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar. And she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. So there we go, it was that fast to get into the game. Now, in my experience, playing the game in handheld mode is just as good as it is docked. Um, in fact, it might even be a, a little bit better because the smaller screen size on the Switch condenses everything and everything just looks a little more crisp and it kind of makes up for the blurriness that we see when the game is docked. So here it is. Now keep in mind, it's not going to look as good in the YouTube video. Now first of all, I'm recording this using my phone, so that's going to degrade the quality some, somewhat. And also YouTube compression is going to degrade the quality. So just keep in mind, it's going to look a lot better than this in person. Um, so there it is. Now I don't know how it comes across in the video, but it is running very smoothly. It's running at a solid 30 frames a second right now. Um, and if I run through here, you should get an idea of how smooth it is. There's no major input lag or input delay. I mean, it's pretty standard compared to all other games that I've played, even on PS4 and PC. But yeah, it looks really good in handheld mode. There's no massive downgrade in the visuals on handheld mode, so that's good. Um, so you can expect to play this portably and enjoy it, basically. Um, let's call the horse over here and we'll, we'll ride through the village. In fact, we'll go find some bad guys, how about that? In fact, no, we'll run into the village real quick. So let's turn around here. We'll go find, we'll, we'll go kill some stuff in a second. Now, like I said, I apologize for the quality. It's not gonna look great in this YouTube video. Um, if you want to see how it runs in docked mode, go check out my channel. I've got a ton of other videos up. Run, Roach. Let's go back around here. See if we can find some enemies to kill. Let's go. Okay, is that an enemy over there? No, it's not. Let's see if we could find something we can fight. Ah, here we go. Show me what you got. Well, let's dismount over here and go fight these guys.
Oh no. Let's use this. Oh, that was a close one, guys. But um, that's how it looks. Let's turn the brightness up just a little bit and also let's meditate until the daytime just so you can get an outdoor feel of the how it looks during the day. Let's meditate till about 9 a.m. All right, so there we go. That is how it looks. Look, all this stuff over here. Monster claws. Cool. We can even go. Oh, oh, look at all the stuff we can look here. We can even we can actually go swimming as well. If, if you look here, we'll go under the water for a second. That's how it looks. Um, and yeah, there's the world map, quests, inventory. So yeah, if you have any questions, just let me know down in the comment section below. Um, check out my other streams. I've got a ton of other Witcher 3 streams um, that you can look at and you can get an idea of how the game runs in Novigrad, the biggest city on Witcher 3. Um, all that's on the channel, so go check it out. And also hit that red subscribe button. We're almost at a thousand subs. I'd really appreciate it. Um, and thanks again for watching. And like I said, ask any questions down below. I'll try and I'll try and answer them. And this is Blaze2K signing out. Peace.